Carignan is not the easiest wine grape to pronounce, but once you taste it, you will want to be sure you know how to say it. Carignan. Carignan, the French name for the Spanish grape Mazuelo, originated in northeastern Spain. It thrives in locations around the Mediterranean Sea, but there's so much to learn about this high yielding variety. I'm curious to know more. So in this episode, Allison and I will delve into this powerhouse of a wine grape and discover why Carignan is so popular or not with winemakers. Enjoy the video, give it a like and a comment and subscribe to our channel for more. Carignan is known by several names and the Spanish variety is quite ancient. The name Mazuelo is from Mazuelo de Muño, a village in Castilla y Leon, and its synonym Carignana, called Carignan in French, Carignano in Italian, and Carignan in American English is from Aragon. Carignan on the vine opens late, so it can only be grown successfully in warm climates. It's also prone to powdery mildew and downy mildew, and needs much spraying in all but the driest climates. Because its stalks are so tough, it's not suitable for mechanical harvesting. But Carignan became popular among growers for its ability to produce high grape yields. And that made Carignan a great blending grape for all sorts of wines. I mean, this goes from bulk wine to premium wine, making bold red blends. And in Southern France, the softening vinification methods of carbonic maceration are usually used to ensure that Carignan can be drunk rather young. That's right. So what about Carignan in the glass? Look at this. Although we see its deep red color and sense bold tannins and high acidity with an earthy flavor and occasional bitterness on the palate, Carignan can offer mild tangy flavors with plenty of red fruit notes. Its spice can be lovely and when its yields are reined in, Carignan adds depth, complexity and structure when used in blends. Possible flavors include raspberries, red plums, dried cranberries, red and black licorice, baking spice, and even bacon. We can find wines with Carignan in red blends of France, especially Corbière, Fitu, and Minervois, and Spain, including Monsin, Penedès, Priorat, and Rioja. Major production areas are in Chile, the languedoc roussillon in France, Sardinia in Italy, Morocco, Spain, Tunisia, and California's Central Valley in the United States. So Cindy, where is your Carignan from? Well, I'm really excited to share this particular wine. A couple of weeks ago, I returned from a work trip to Languedoc in Southern France. We stayed in the saint Chignon Appellation where Chateau Castigno is located. It's a 32 hectare estate owned by a couple from Belgium. The entire estate was converted to organic methods and the owners have even rehabilitated several houses in the village of Assignon to provide places to live, eat and relax. So my wine is Chateau Castigno Secret of the Gods 2015, a blend of 40% Syrah, 40% Carignan and 20% Grenache. And it costs about 17 euros. Carignan vines over 80 years old and parcels of 30 year old Grenache and Syrah were planted on sandstone and silt. Not surprisingly, harvesting was done by hand and the Carignan and Syrah were matured in oak for 12 months, then another six months in stainless steel. The Grenache was matured in vats only and the wine is unfiltered and unfined. So the wine, very dark with aromas of black fruits, herbs and spice, Palette has vibrant acidity, fine tannins, earth and dark notes of fruit and a very long finish. I just love this wine. At dinner one night though, another 2015 was opened and paired with savory peppery lamb chops. Honestly, the Carignan from Old Vines did its job as a perfect blending grape with the Syrah and Grenache. And in fact, I learned that it could age a few more years but the 2015 drank very nicely. So, Allison, how about you? What are you going to surprise us with? Well, did you know that Carignan was once widely planted in California and was the third most planted grape by the second half of the 20th century? Unfortunately, by the late 1980s, most of the vines were pulled out and replaced. But it did have its heyday at one point. Luckily, some of the old vines survived, and there are 5.42 acres in, of Carignan planted in the Trimble Vineyard in Mendocino. These are head-trained, dry-farmed 
uh, vines that are 45 years old and they're certified organic. And this is where winemaker William Allen of Two Shepherds sources the Carignan he works with. Now at Two Shepherds, William makes Carignan three different ways. He has a Carignan, a classic red Carignan that I've got here, which is a uh, 2014. I'm holding on to this one. He also makes a rosé of Carignan, but what I'm drinking today is the Two Shepherds 2020 Wiley Carbonic Carignan. And this is a $26 uh, wine. And what's really cool, you had mentioned that, car that carbonic maceration is something done in France to make this a drinkable wine. And then you were talking about a wine that you drink with a little more age. And that's why mm -hmm. I'm kind of holding on to my 2014. I think it's, I could drink it now, but I'm going to save it for a good, you know, uh, winter night with some roasted meats or something like that. But uh, for this one, the grapes are sealed in the tank for two and a half weeks um, where the carbonic, where the um, fermentation starts in the grape and then they're pressed back and put into stainless steel to finish fermenting and age for four months. And the name, in case you look closely on the label, is their cat, is named for their cat, Wiley, who they, um, William and Karen, call him a carbonic soul. So he's <laughs> perfect for this. But what I love about it, it's a little bit lighter in color. This is 100% Carignan. And it's got really intense, fresh berry aromatics. All the things that I had said before, um, raspberry, currants, uh, cherry, a little bit of spice, but it's got this really fun and youthful kind of nose to it. But also there's an interesting and complex element to it. It's not just all kind of fruity and fun, but also really tasty. It's got really nice kind of lightly drying tannins on the palate. It's really fresh, it's bright. And I've got a little chill on it, which makes it perfect. Mm -hmm. And it's only 11.8% alcohol. I mean, I know summer is over, but for those warm fall nights, when you're kind of, you know, grilling up some meat on the grill, this is the perfect wine to have. So I agree. I love that I chose a blend from the South, from Languedoc. You chose 100% uh, Carignan from California and it was fun to compare the two, but yet in see the differences and see the similarities. I'm, I'm loving this wine. It is fabulous. Every time I take a sip, it brings me right back to the south of France and I'm ready to go right back again. And well, you know, you said at the beginning, like why winemakers, some love it and some don't. I mean, yeah. here's the thing. It's a beautiful blending grape as proven by your wine. It's a beautiful uh, wine on its own. It stands up to itself, but you know, and maybe it's a little temperamental because it wants particular, you know, <laughs> environments to grow in, but I think it's worth it because blended or single variety, it's just a, a gorgeous wine. I agree. I agree. I encourage everyone to try uh, a Carignan, either, either the blend or 100%, and, and pour it in your glass, everybody, and see the difference. <laughs> so I've learned a lot about this ancient variety. I think you have two um, in our research, Allie, and we've tasted two examples from two different parts of the world. So for everyone reading or listening to this, it's your turn to pour a glass of Carignan. Give our video a like, comment if you'd like to. And of course, subscribe to our channel for more. Cheers. Cheers.